Yes, that was my uh, understanding from my first uh, uh, conversation with, with the United States uh, Special Envoy to Palau, Mr. Uh, uh, Daniel Freed, who mentioned to me that uh, they were picked up in uh, the middle uh, in Afghanistan, in the middle of Afghanistan or Pakistan, presumed to be uh, terrorists, and when they were brought to the United States, and after a hearing before a federal court, they were found not to be enemy combatants or non-terrorists and that they couldn't find a place where they can be sent to because their homeland would be the most hosted place where they can return to because they may face persecution or even execution. So they were in the legal limbo. So I felt like they were victims of the warring factions uh, over terrorism. And in any case, they were uh, uh, caught in the middle and were presumed to be terrorists, but when they reached the United States and uh, after a hearing, uh, reviewing the classified information, even the U.S. government uh, found them not to be enemy combatants. So I just accepted them as free people who were victims of uh, what I call as uh, misidentification of uh, terrorists. Well, it's up to them. Uh, we accepted them uh, for them to stay in Palau temporarily uh, until they found an another place where they can settle in more permanently, where they can uh, uh, find uh, other Uyghurs uh, so that they can um, socially be more comfortable. So I hope that their resettlement here in Palau and our acceptance of these Uyghurs will demonstrate to the world that these are not dangerous people. They're civil, they're gentle, they're peace-loving. They yearn to enjoy freedom of religion and that uh, the other allies of the United States uh, may feel the same way we do, that uh, they should accommodate these people who became victims because of the war against terrorism. Mm -hmm. And they, they were mistakenly picked up as terrorists when they were not.